Got it. Are we live? Yes. We are about to go. Yep. Okay. Hello, anybody who's watching. Uh, <clears throat> welcome back. We are uh, doing an unusual thing. My editor, Timo Langer, whose head you can see there. Hello. <laughs> and I are uh, editing live our next project. Uh, it's a sort of 15 minute piece inspired by the day, a day in the life of a great Scottish painter called Wilhelmina Barnes Graham. The piece will be in the Fruit Market Gallery in Edinburgh and it's funded by the Bank of Scotland and it's going to be four screens. So the audience will be in the mid middle surrounded by four screens of stuff. And rather ridiculously, we're trying to edit it's like making four films at once and we're trying to edit all four of them uh, together at the same time. So it's a bit complicated and um, it means that what you'll see if you're watching is one screen with four quadrants because we can't do it all in surround. So you have to use your imagination quite a lot as we are having to. And we started our session this morning and now we're going to pick up where we left off. Did you, did you have some lunch, Timo? I did. What did you have? I had some um, rolls with cheese on them. Mm. Yeah, the bacon sandwich. Bacon sandwich. Yeah, that sounds way more exciting. And so, so we had got to the point where we have where we're having the two of them in dialogue, and the last thing where for those of you who didn't see this morning, we're having part of this is <clears throat> the older Wilhelmina Barnes Graham talking to her younger self. And so that's the older lady there and the, and the other, the younger lady you will see as we proceed. So Timo, I've now, I've now stuck the script in my wall so I can see it better. So those two long pieces of paper there are the script so I can see more clearly where we are. And we got to <clears throat> of where the older lady says of what, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Yep. And so what we haven't done is had all four of them on screen yet together. Is it, should we do that now or should we hold that a little longer? I think a little a little longer, do you? I thought like the next line should still be the younger one and then for the, or maybe 50 years ago and then we see them together. So younger, younger Willie says of that day a month ago and then older Willie says 50 years ago because of course that's what separates the two of them roughly. So let's yeah. put those two lines in just as we've been continuing two screens, two screens. Actually, I'm going to take the script off the wall because it's better for me to have it near the computer. <clears throat> Those of you who want to see, this is what the script looks like. So photos and two sets of dialogue. Mm. Have you checked on the YouTube that they can see you as well when I screen share? I have not. I don't know that either. Um, but if you want to, like, I could do this quickly. Now they can definitely see you. Yes. So if you, if, if you want to show something quickly. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, if it... No, we'll just proceed. Okay. Um, they, they might be able to see you, but I'm not sure. So you're going to get rid of that little bit more of the more funky music there too long. Yeah. Maybe we could, we've had a lot, we've had this um, neuron music for quite a while. We could begin to lose it for a bit and put in some audio effects. Or some other music. Okay. I think let's do that. First of all, let's, because when, when a younger Willie 
I mean, like, we could, in, if, if there's music or something in that, you know, footage section, then you could bring that in slowly or something. What's oh, the footage? What's the footage section? Like, what you if you want to, like, 50 years ago, you know, like, show a glacier or whatever you have in mind there, or stock footage, or um, I think we're gonna we're gonna stay on the dialogue for a little longer. We're gonna hear okay. things like boots. You know, Annie has given us the sound the the sound of feet on ice. We're gonna use that, but I think maybe we it'll be another few sentences before we go to the live footage. I guess. Okay. <clears throat> so is there something we should just put in here now then like sound wise audio wise well let's put the the the, or the boots so in the Anya audio it's called Footsteps, human. Yep. And we can use that and we can mix some something else in with some. Should that be on all screens? Um, that should be on all screens, yes. Or actually, Timo, before you put the boots in, could you put in some a, another piece of audio, I think, before we get to the actual walking? Yeah. So Anya has sent us a piece of sound, which is called Ice Melting Detail. Yeah. One, yeah, there's one and two. One and two, whichever you prefer. I like that trickly sound. of what that day of that day a month ago 50 years ago so this is really the flash a sense of flashback here Funny because she in that image she does look as if she's remembering something slightly, you know, because she's because she's not looking directly at us in the internal picture. Mm -hmm. 
Nice, I like that. And then, <clears throat> well, that day a month ago, and then I think that older Willie comes in really sharp to contradict her. You know, it's not a month ago, it's 50 years ago, you're in the past. <clears throat> you want to, without a pause, like right away, or? Uh, I think just, to, you know, it's always nice just to have a moment of the picture to give people's head time to turn back to the other picture, you know, so just a brief moment, but then quite quickly and with 50 years ago. And <clears throat> yeah. Okay. All right. And then, then younger Willie comes back and again, quite sharply and says 50 years for you. Yeah. So like she's sort of saying to the older, her older self, so we'll speak for yourself. Um, I didn't, you wanted to come up always, don't you? The, the, um, the picture should come up before the. I think just briefly, you know, that sense <coughs> that, <clears throat> yeah, just give people a moment time to, for their head to turn before the next line of dialogue. And quite, I think that could be a little shorter, that last one, Timo. This is the moment where they're being quite argumentative with each other almost. People who are watching this for the first time, you'll notice down at the bottom of the screen, there are quite a few lines here. And so you can see four line, four various lines of screen, screen one, two, three, four, and four lines of audio as well. So that Timo is having to work with four different timelines for each. So just one more line, or does she say more before we go into? Uh... And so 50 years for you, she's just, the young woman's just said that, is that right? Yeah. No, that's the next thing she's going to say, but is she going to say more, or are we then going to something else? <coughs> Picture-wise, you mean? Yeah. Uh, well, we are going to... No, we're going to do more of the stills and the subtitles, Timo, another three of those, but we're going to bring different audio in here. We're going to bring start, okay. um, Linda's music coming in. Do you want to put that in now or more picture? Uh, I just do the... Yeah, I just wanted to... Just, yeah, it's fine. Um, we can do either. I don't mind. So... Let's choose the music because that might affect the pacing of the shot. So let's go back into Linda music. Yeah. And 
uh, what Linda did was write a piece of music inspired by various bits of the script. We're just coming up to My Breathing, and she's written a piece, the second number two, it's called My Breathing. Do you want to play that and decide if we like it here? Or? Very tunnel isn't it? I like, I think it's good. Yeah, it's the right tone. It's not too, right. uh, no, it's, it's not, not too, too powering and it's not too dramatic. It's sort of still, yeah. we're, we're getting deeper into the experience. And so I, I like that quality to it. And then you could half mix between this crackly noise, couldn't you? And, and Linda's music. Yeah. Or you can keep both going if you want. And people are watching this and maybe haven't seen editing before. That was Timo just choosing the number of frames to do mix between the two different pieces of audio that you're uh, hearing here. The, on the one hand, the crackle noise and the incoming music. And he's chosen, I think, 55 frames. Was that right, Timo? No. Which is... I think it should be longer, maybe. Though. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And That's maybe fine. to make it a bit quieter, so it's not... Which one? The outgoing or the incoming? The incoming. Yeah. So it's... it's yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, and then you can, it can it can slowly build. I think it can go for quite a while. while this next piece, but yeah, it could slowly build, yeah. um, because it you do there is a sense of, you know, going down the tunnel of time. Yeah. yeah, and I think you keep the music going for a while, and 50 years ago, yeah, over her two pictures, and then the... I still need to adjust the 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. I need to adjust the 50 years yeah. ago. Uh, 50, 50 years for you, I mean, sorry. 50 years for you, yeah, that's over the younger one, yeah. Um, so we're just staying on the younger one. Yes, I know it's a, I know it's quite static, but I think so because we're starting after this, the imagery is going to start to get much more complicated. So we can keep it simple for a moment.
And then we claim, I know, 50 years ago, I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it. I just wanted a holiday and then we claim. Linda just sent some more music to you. I think that's the stems. I just at lunchtime I emailed her and she offered us the stems of the music. So why don't you download those, Timo? And okay, I'll download them as well. And for people watching this, if, if there's anybody watching, uh, stems are the sort of beginnings and the ends of pieces of music. So it allows us to sort of have a longer in or it's a sort of stripped down bit, uh, which will allow Timo and me to use right the very beginning bit of the composer's music. Download. <clears throat> And then these next three, Timo, I didn't expect it. I just wanted a holiday. And then we climbed, can come quite fast together. They're almost like one sentence. Okay, I've got Linda's new music here.
Have you downloaded Linda's new music yet, Timo? Are you still doing that? Yeah. Mm, 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 uh, mm, uh. Yeah, I got it as well. Right. Uh, so. I think it's just the stem, Linda stem sets new. I think yes, the other ones we already yes. have. So, but that'll be useful. Mm. I um so do you want to listen to those now? No, let's not listen to them now. Can you play number they like have an error message about song number seven? Yes, I got an error error message about song number seven as well. Okay, and that one wasn't working then for some reason. Oh no, I'm not. I'm I'm getting error messages for. Oh no, I'm not. So if you've got them, then each time we come to a piece of music, we'll listen to the stem first and see if it's better for us or the full piece. Okay. I just bring them in. Bring them in. For whoever's for whoever's watching who doesn't know what bring them in means, Timo, what does that mean? I just import them. So I just downloaded them, copied them onto the drive, and now I just brought them into the edit program. Right. <clears throat> and do you want to listen to them? Um Let's let's flick through them. I mean, when we come to each choice, music choice, we'll listen to the stem first. But let's give us a quick, just jump through them briefly to see. Sorry, one sec. Hmm. So the stem has the same name. Yes. So okay. we'll be, yeah. So it's okay. So is that the? That's the high cello sound, isn't it? The young Willie sound, yeah. Yeah. I wonder whether they're different to be honest. Very nice. Are they different though, do you think? Maybe maybe she'd already sent us the stems. Anyway, let's it doesn't matter. When we come to when we come to our next music choice, we'll listen to what we have and decide which we prefer in each case. Okay. All right. What so, was the last? And you've got, and then we climbed. Have you got that in? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now we need several things. Uh, we need the sound of boots from Anya's recording. I think this is where the soundtrack start, starts to get more complicated. Okay. Um, I think, I think I will, because we will overlap sounds as well, won't we? With, like, within with within each screen, you mean? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we will do. So, yeah. Um, okay. I just I had assumed we just have two straight. I just need to make a few more audio tracks. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, so we can, yeah, have more than one for one screen, basically. How many um, audio tracks have you got so far? Eight. So it's eight, so two for each screen. Two, two sets of stereo, a set of stereo for each screen. Okay. So then you're going to make the same so that you can dissolve between them. Yeah. Do you think two, I mean, four, so two pieces of audio are enough per yeah. screen or do you want more? Um, let's do it. For, let's just do two at the moment, you know, and then when we come to... Let's just do two at the moment. I think that should be enough. So in other words, one piece of music and one sound effects at any one time or two sound effects and no music. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. OK. Um.
So and I rename the screens later on because it's that's not really right anymore. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah. Um so what did you say? Foot no yes, yeah, I think I think footsteps here in um Anya's recordings. Okay. Footsteps human, footsteps ice, etc. It's called. And on all screens? No, I think um I think on two screens and so are we could could we do footsteps breathe? No, we can do two only two bits of audio. So footsteps and music or breathing and, and music, is that right? I mean you can have as many as you want. I just need to make more tracks and it will yeah. look more complicated, uh, but yeah, no, let's limit ourselves to two, I think, Timo. So let's put the footsteps on screen two and three, which is the young woman, the young Willie's screen. Yeah. And then I think, um, I, well, I know Linda has given us a piece of music inspired by breathing. So if we could half mix between the previous That's we've already got there. So you want them on two and three? Yes, the footsteps on two and three. So this is one, this is two, and then this will be three. That goes nice with that music, I think. <clears throat> so that would mean the music would continue on one and four, yeah? Yes. And then we're going to half mix between the music on one and four to another piece of music on one and four. OK. Um... Okay, and what's that piece of music? Should those audio footsteps go down a little bit? Are they too loud? Okay. Yeah. Just uh, slightly more, you know, impressionistic. Yeah. Okay. And then if you go into Linda's music, Timo. Into the stems or? Yeah. The... Uh, no, let's go into the proper music here for this point. Yeah. And there's a piece. Well, let's, let's listen to a few pieces. There's one, number three, called My Lungs Light. Similar to my breathing, isn't it? It's nice. It's just very subtle. Listen to number four, which is light hell, light headed cello and texture. That's good. That's very good. That's more articulated. That one, isn't it? Yeah. And have a, just have a listen when you're there too. She's given us two subsequent pieces called lightheaded cello, which is without the texture, and then lightheaded texture without the cello. Which, which one is that we're listening to? 
Hello. This is the texture only. Okay, let's go with the cello. Not cello and texture, just cello. Um, let's hear the cello and texture again. No, that's nice, isn't it, to have those two things going on? Okay, yeah, I think it half makes into that. <clears throat> okay. That brings the cello back in as we introduced it earlier. And if you're watching this live, just to remind you that um, when Timo and I are talking about screens one, two, three, and four, it means that we're doing a four screen ins installation. And so when people walk into Fruit Market on their left will be screen one and, and big screen two will be sort of at 10 o'clock and big screen three will be at two o'clock and big screen four will be at four o'clock. So we're, as we're making these music and picture choices, trying to Imagine the audience being surrounded by these big screens. Easier said than done. Nice. Good. Do you want the um, footsteps to keep going or? I think so. Keep them going and keep them going quite low, but keep them going. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Crash? Yeah, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, it's all right. It's my oh, oh, uh, just going to get my mail. <laughs> I'm back. Yeah, it's not too bad. I need to redo some stuff here. Uh, no, actually, it's fine.
this music that Linda's given us is perfect for this, I think. There are people here watching. You can see Timo just taking the sound levels of the footsteps down a little bit. You can hear music and footsteps here, and he's taking the footsteps down so that they don't dominate the music too much. We need to be. We need to have a sense of this woman walking on the glass here, but an impressionistic sense, not a very literal sense of it. It's very short. I need to. It's, yeah, it's only one minute something, isn't it? Yeah. Or, uh, not even, I think. Uh, okay. I thought when I oh no, you're right, it's only 16 seconds. Wow. Well, you can go, you can just mix into something else, Timo, from footsteps into more, you know, Anya's. Yeah, I think something else would be nice, actually. Uh, so if you, if you look in Anya's audio, there's something called. Uh, the, 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 oh, there's one called Steps in Snow, which is one minute 29, so it's a lot longer, obviously. Or you can go to Ice Miscellaneous, Ice, ice Cave, etc. Yeah, I like that one, Ice Impact, Ice Cave. Okay, for both screens as well, yeah? I think on both, <coughs> yeah, on both screens. What's the last bit of um, dialogue we had? And then we climbed. We climbed. Okay. So, what's that next image after? Then we climbed. Um, it's still, it's still her. Okay. So. so I think we can go away. I think we can go into some live footage that I shot now in the Grindelwald clips. Do you? Okay, yeah. it's time to see the, the glacier for the first time. Uh, so I think, are you in that folder yet? The Grindelwald clips? Yeah. Yeah. And the very first clip there, T Simo, Simo, see that one, C1268? C1268. C1268. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it's, it's down at the bottom looking up. So I think before we actually get up there, if we look at that first for a bit. Now, there's a slight wobble on that shot, but it doesn't matter. Actually, I think on a big screen, it, it could look nice to have four wobbles you know, or a little bit of movement. Yeah. 
Is that the sink sound on that? Yeah. <laughs> I, know that's, I filmed this from my hotel room window, and I think there was a river running outside. But anyway, I think this on all four screens could be quite good. Yeah, okay. If any of you are just watching and they've just joined us, what Timo's doing here is shrinking this image down to fit into one of the four quadrants in this edit uh, screen, top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. The reason we're doing that is we're trying to imagine what it will be like when we show this on four screens in Fruit Market in Edinburgh. So this is sort of trying to approximate what it will be like uh, with four screens. This was literally my view from my hotel room that morning. Rishi Sunak is the new Prime Minister. Oh, that, that was faster than I thought. Penny Mordaunt has resigned or has withdrawn. Who knows? <laughs> Nice, and I think we can then go for a moment of that, Timo, and then, you know, in that same folder, the live stuff. <clears throat> yep. There's another shot, you know, which I shot on that 16 millimeter app, and it's a shot that ends 85133. <clears throat> yep. And that's at a, yeah, so I, I think, would it work? I think it would it work to intercut what we've just put in, which is sort of close up with what you're just looking at. And I think this is a moment where you can go a bit wild. We've just gone four screens, but then you could fill screen two and four, for example. After we've seen all four images on the right, then you could go screen two and four with this eight millimeter shot or 16 millimeter shot. Okay. Yeah. Um, should I, you want a diagonal, yeah? Not, not two and three. Yeah, I think diagonal might be nice because 
when you think about it, what we've done is we've split the room in half so far, haven't we? And we've had older Willie on the left half and younger Willie in the right half. And now we okay. want to mix it up a bit. Yeah. Um, and how long do you want to just the four screen and then? Until about there, something like that. You know, a bit of, a, 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 we want to give people a sense of, wow, this is the first time they've seen the Alps proper in this thing. So it's like, wow, look at that. There's the Eiger. And then we go into this more subjective footage in 16 millimeter. And then we might even switch it around, Timo. So I think all four screens and then this footage on two and four and then switch it around. So this footage goes of one and three. Does that make sense? So start with two and four, and then have yeah, the same footage go to one and three, and the other footage go on two and four. Exactly. Yes. Okay. And this is four by three image, is it? It is. It's it's distorted at the moment, but you don't need to, you know, correct it now unless you care to. Okay. I don't care. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think you would. <laughs> uh. So four and two. Yes, yeah, so that the eight, 16 millimeter footage goes in four and two. This is to give a sense of, because now we're in the moment, aren't we? You know, where the script is said, and then we climbed. So the younger Willie said, well, then we climbed. So this is give a sense of, really being there. Mm. Getting quite a few emails about Film House and Film Festival at the moment. Things are happening behind the scenes. <clears throat> I just, got a, I just got a message <laughs> from somebody saying, I am sitting in the Ecuadorian Andes and just learned who the new prime minister, UK prime minister is by watching you and Timo live editing in Edith, Edinburgh. <laughs> it was the best way to hear. So I don't know who that is. I'm sorry, I don't know who you are, but uh, hello from the Ecuadorian Andes. <laughs> yeah, we're all excited very much. <laughs> That's very bizarre. <laughs> If, if you're listening still at the Ecuadorian Andes, could you text me again and tell me who you are? <laughs> it's funny, I've been getting messages during this live stream. I've been getting messages from Brazil and various parts of the world. Um, so did someone, ex like the message was a text? Well, it came to my email as a dot att dot net. Oh, here it comes again. <laughs> Some. It's Tabitha, Tabitha Jackson. Uh, <laughs> Tabitha Jackson. Thank you, my love. <laughs> can, can send you a big kiss. Thank you, Tabitha. How nice to hear from you. Thanks for watching, my love. I hope Ecuador Very is nice. Nice. And those of you who don't know, who are watching, who don't know who Tabitha Jackson is, she's really brilliant. I first got to know her when she was at Channel 4 Television, and she basically, the... the the film that we made, the Tibo and I and John Archer made called Story of Film and Odyssey. Tabitha was really, uh, you know, took us by the hand and walked us through that project. So she was a brilliant, brilliant um, executive producer and commissioner, etc. And so she really helped make that happen. And then, of course, she went on to even greater things. She was director of Sundance. It's 
film festival, etc. And now she's gone on to even great, greater things. And she's in Ecuador as we speak. So sending you lots of love, Tabitha. That's so nice to hear from you. Nice this combination is really nice and then just switch them around i think because at this point now you know we've made people feel kind of i was going to say safe but that's another one we've given people roots here um you know they know who's talking from which screen but uh now we can start to play with people's expectations how many minutes are we in timo three or two three so we're three minutes into a 15 minute project so now is the time to get funky um. or to start to get funky let's say we've got funkier things to do as we get further afield I think that anybody if you're watching this we are going to it's going to get quite trippy in about five minutes time, which is probably in about a day and a half or maybe tomorrow afternoon, we'll start to really play with imagery and shit, loosen up and, and get a bit um, dancey about the whole thing. Uh, sometimes. Obviously, you need to get these just roughly right, Timo, because we'll correct them at the next stage. I know, like... <clears throat> Well, I've just had the most fascinating email about Edinburgh Film Festival and Film House, which I can't read out because it's, you know, sensitive information and we're uh, speaking on a public forum here, but it's very interesting. And I mocked this up. Uh, or do you like this by any chance? Happy accident. I like it, Timo. I like it. <laughs> Okay. No, I like it. You know, you know, we need to you need to have randomness in here and not overthink this kind of bit. So I, I think that's good. Go with that. Yeah. I think there'll be a number of moments where, you know, we just we don't want to overcalculate which what's on which screen, etc. You know, because by this stage, and I should I haven't mentioned this yet in this um live stream, but what's gonna happen. Uh, when the audience sees this in fruit market but between four big screens, the audience is going to be in a swivel seat like this. And so they will be sitting and moving, like they'll be looking here and looking here. So we're doing this to make sure that this is available and friendly to people who have mobility difficulties or who can't stand so long. And you'll notice that we're not using voice here because we're putting text and this is for people who have who can't hear very well who may be deaf and but it means that we will people will be swiveling between the four screens and that's why we're that's why we need to be a bit funky about the use of the four screens thank you for doing that timo all right Okay, so funky. So you've done, okay, let's see funky. That works for me. I think that's very good. And that can go on for a bit, isn't it? Because that's a nice thing to look at. What's the last bit of script we had and then we climbed? Yeah. So then she says, the young Willie says, my breathing, I was worried about my breathing. And I think this is, would you agree, Timo, that this is a moment where 
we have so clearly established that screen two and three is young Willie. Is that right? And screen one and four is older Willie. That yeah. we could put subtitles on screen two and three without actually showing the picture of younger Willie. Would you agree? Yeah. And you could also do things like uh, do one and four. So if one has the picture and four yes subtitle i think yes yeah 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 okay that's a good idea so let's do that now to ease the audience into that process so we've got young willie talking again uh, but let's keep let's put her on either two or three and a reminder for those of you who are watching two is upper right and three is lower right so timo you decide whether you want to see uh willie on upper right or lower right and we can um, put the subtitle on that bit. Yeah. Um, let's see, how long do you want this to go on though? Like, the... I think that's very watchable. Oh, 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 Timo, yes. Um, could you just to, I think that's very watchable, but um, I think we could introduce one more element into it as well to make it even more watchable, which is, you know, we've used some of the footage of the film flicker yeah and i think if it's okay it would be good to introduce another bit like so leave three of these quadrants leave three of these quadrants going remove one and add a little bit of stock footage why is that i'm trying to click on it and it's not coming oh, i know that i know yeah so let's if you if you don't mind going back into the stock footage now yeah um one just one moment uh, i've done this wrong haven't i it's three that's right and that's not one though that's four that's four three two one yeah that's it uh stock footage sorry yep so if you go into the stock footage folder yeah and so far, we've used the one that's numbered 1901. Yeah. But have a look at 0008 and 0089. And let's decide which would be best here. I really like that. Look at that. Yeah, it's nice with the 8 millimeter stuff because yeah. that's, that's like color. Yeah. As well. yeah. Okay. So just insert that for a bit into one of these four quadrants. Uh, the idea being, you know, that as you know, this for people who are just uh, watching now, this kind of <clears throat> scratchy film image is, in this piece is supposed to be slightly like uh, Wilhelmina Barnes Graham's imagination or the crackle of her neurons firing or something like this. So, uh, Timo, insert that. I wonder, should you see that frame, that single frame you're packed on there is lovely. The last time you, you, your last footage, we, you slowed to 30%. Is that right? Yeah, it might, maybe or 50. Something, something like that. But I think if you don't mind, Timo, slowing this down as well, because it always looks better, this material. Oh, look at that, yeah. But I think if you slow it down a little bit, it'll be nicer. Okay. Back in a sec. <clears throat>
I meant to say, if anybody's watching this, I know I keep saying if anybody's watching this because it's quite possible <laughs> that nobody's watching it. But if you are, I'm not watching on YouTube. So because I'm watching the actual edit. So if there, if you're sending in any questions or comments, I'm not seeing them. Uh, but I, what I will do is if you are on Twitter, um, I will be looking at my phone so you can send me uh, any thoughts or questions, especially nice thoughts or questions. I, I'm less inclined to <laughs> less inclined to answer nasty thoughts or questions but if you are on social media particularly twitter and uh, my twitter handle is at mark cousins film and if you have any burning questions send them there particularly about this process as you know as i'm sure you can tell the reason we're doing this is for those of you maybe who are, who are interested in filmmaking and interesting in editing, but you haven't done much of it yet to see some of this. So on screen, you can see lots of lines and timelines and Timo Langer doing stuff. So if you have any questions about what he's actually doing, uh, you can message me on uh, Twitter. That's the easiest way. I'm sorry I'm not seeing what if you're asking anything on YouTube. That's just nice. Look at that, Timo. That combination, I like. I think you should go a little longer than that. Can that... Um, <clears throat> what, what you just did there is very good. I think if you could then reverse that, Timo, so that um, what we just saw on screen four, the film cl flicker, could then jump to screen two. And what's on screen two could jump to screen four. Okay. Yeah? Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, four to two and two to four. Yeah, I think so. I personally could watch 15 minutes of Linda's beautiful music and just the flicker on screen for her. Yeah, it's, a, it's really sort of trippy, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. That's where it gets interesting, isn't it? Now that this is the first time that we're sort of using four screens in a different way. Okay, that's very good. And the um, what was the last bit of dialogue? And then we climbed. Yeah. Uh, now we're going to. I think we've said, Timo, we can start subtitling footage without showing Willie or put her in one quadrant. So my my breathing. I was worried about my breathing. So let's young take, Willie. Let's go young Willie and let's lose that first line. You asked me this morning whether we can lose some lines and the answer I realize is yes. So let's lose the line, my breathing and just go in on, I was worried about my breathing. And uh, for anybody who's watching, just to say that the reason we're talking about breathing is that Wilhelmina Barnes Graham, who you're seeing, had breathing difficulties all her life. And he, even though she was wildly prolific as a painter, she often had to, to rest up uh, in bed because of her, I can't remember the name of the disease she had, but it was a sort of bronchial disease. So yeah, the breathing. Imagine when you have a bronchial disease, and you're climbing up the Alps. How imagine how um, there's a, an extra jeopardy there. I think. And 
And the, you know, you could argue in some way that the fact that she climbed up the Alps and then had this remarkable experience that you're going to hear about if you follow us in the, the next few days, um, you could argue that maybe she was hyper oxygenated. Maybe her lungs were small and she had to, and therefore she had to breathe more and therefore she was pumped by oxygen. I am not a doctor, but um, it's certainly possible. We've all felt quite dizzy in some ways because of a lot of exercise. So maybe there's something in that as well. Are you keeping the other three quadrants going, Timo, and just putting her in one? Yeah. Oh, okay. So what do you think? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that's what you wanted, but yeah. Well, what, well, what do you think? I don't know. We could also do a little. It might be quite nice. Like if you think of the room, it'd be quite dark, and then. And then just her and bright one. with four quadrants, and then a brief moment of. Of what? Just her in one quadrant, or. No, like just like like this. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, just for a moment, and then... yeah. No, I like I like it. Sort of, I think because we've established the grammar of this suddenly. So, um, what's that? So yeah, we've established the grammar of it, so we can start to play with it as long as we always keep keep the young Willie and the and screen two and three. Yeah. That's kind of here. <clears throat> I think this is where, uh, yeah. I think this is where we're really starting to, you know use the four screens with remind me how many audio channels have you running at the moment just two or uh, what's, on, yeah. what's on the other what's on the other two what's so it's that ice cave thing yes could you and uh, maybe is it, maybe would it be too obvious to because she's starting to talk about her breathing and her lungs here would it be too obvious to half mix from the ice cave into the the breathing stuff again Timo okay the um Anya breathing breath Anya breathing yeah I think so <clears throat>
Yes, that's very, I like this. That works very nicely. Uh, how, yeah. I think maybe just have just the breathing on screen too, because that's where she is. The audio, yes, I agree. Yeah. Can't quite hear it. Does it need to come up a bit? It's quite. It's. I can hear it. But... Quite, the music's quite loud, but if yeah. you can whack, whack it up a bit more, Jay. Take the music down a bit. Still can't quite hear it here. <clears throat> you know, maybe you could, you, as you know, as I said this morning and to the audience and Timo, you know, for years, I like music cuts. So would it work just sort of, certainly to cut the music out? And... I don't know. I think if we have a nice flow at the moment. But we could, of course, just see how that, what that does here and then. I think it was Jean-Luc Godard again. With, I mentioned this morning that idea of, you know, cutting out of, uh, an abrupt cut out of music. Just, just, give, just, just try cutting it out and see what happens, Timo. I'm sure you're right that it's... it's, it's... Didn't quite work, did it? <laughs> you know, it's nice to. I you know, think you, if we keep it quite low and, and the breathing yeah. becomes more prominent, I think that's fine. The breathing as a foreground, isn't it? The breathing makes us yeah. feel as if we're in her body and the music is more external. So I think a sort of quite radical shift in levels there would be good without cutting the music out entirely. And then just for a short amount of time. Okay, and then you want to get rid of the music. No, I think we can come in with the music. Um, 
let's just uh so i think that music should go down a little bit further yeah uh so it really goes into the background and suddenly we plunge into her body or her subjectivity as it were you know and And people who, if you don't know about editing, what Timo just did there, do you see where he stretched a line? That meant that he made, made the, the sound dissolve longer and slower. Yeah. Yeah, that works for me. So it, yeah. it, 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 you switch of emphasis, the music becomes background and the, the breathing becomes foreground. Yeah. Okay, so how long do you want to stay on this? And like, we can also obviously at any point bring up something on one and four again. Uh, do, you, do you mean picture wise or sound wise? Picture? Picture, yeah. Okay, so let's just decide first of all how long the caption should be up for. Let's look at that. The, I was worried about my breathing. there no i think longer timo because it I, I think it can be a while this because there's nothing else happening okay and we're, we haven't heard the breathing yet I could we could lose the caption about there, do you think? Okay, yep. Yeah. And then I think we should cut the next line, Timo. I had written the steps cut in the ice, but I don't think we need that. The next line after that would be I could feel my lungs inside my lungs. So I think we have taken this use of this use of audio has taken us inside her lungs. So let's put those up as well. Those, Thank you, Lou. Excuse me.
Do you know what I'm thinking, Timo? To, for the, do we need her picture up on screen at all, or should we just have it words on black at this point? Yeah, I think that would be nice. I think in nice. the beginning, it's half about for the. Yes. For yes. this one, we might not need it. I think so. Because we're really, hopefully, we've really taken audience inside now. Yeah, that's nice. Yep. Yeah. I like. Sorry, I need the toilet quickly. Right, then you should go. Thank you. When when Timo editor goes to the toilet, if any of you are watching, a, a quick summary of what we're actually doing here. Uh, so we're making a, a four screen installation for Fruit Market Gallery Edinburgh, funded by Creative Scotland in collaboration with uh, Wilhelmina Barnes Graham Trust. And what we're trying to do is pay homage to a moment in the life of a great artist. Uh, the great artist is Wilhelmina Barnes Graham, a uh, Scottish artist who worked in Cornwall and spent a lot of time in Italy. And, uh, uh, you know, she was this kind of, kind of genius who looked in a new way, in a different way, uh, wildly unusual in her taste, etc. And we're trying to do make a new artwork inspired by a moment of her life in 1949 when she climbed a glacier in Switzerland in May and had an experience that changed her life. And we're trying to do something which makes you, the audience, and we, everybody, all of us ask, what are those life-changing moments? Have you had many? If so, were they good? You know, when you're sort of searching for something and then you find it, is that a good thing? There's a brilliant, brilliant film directed by Nicholas Rogue called Eureka, and it's about finding the gold. It's about a guy called Jack McCann who um, was searching all his life for something, and then he found it. And when he found it, his life sort of ended. And so that's a sort of troubling thought, the thought that actually you must never find what you're looking for. You know, the the desire should not be satisfied, uh, and that's uh, so. Is that true? And in the case of Wilhelmina Barnes Graham, you know, she saw she had this experience on the Alps, which you'll hear more about as we proceed in the following days. If you if you stay with us, and um, she had something that she couldn't get out of her head. She couldn't she couldn't shake it off. Taylor Swift, shake it off. She couldn't do that. And I personally think this is fantastic. And I'm a big fan of, uh, for, for example, James Joyce and his idea of the epiphany. But I know that there are downsides to it as well. So that's what we're trying to engage with here and look at here. And in uh, still when Timo's in the editor, Timo's in the toilet, I should say that in five minutes time, I'm going to have, I'm going to link up with, um, BBC Radio Scotland, uh, Janice Forsyth, the afternoon show. And so she's going to, I'm going to talk to Janice live about what we're doing. So it's going to look pretty weird because I'm going to still be live on this Zoom, but also going to be talking to a radio journalist, a very good radio, radio journalist. So if it looks as if I'm saying weird stuff, it's because I'm not, I'm temporarily not in this Zoom experience, I'm on the radio. Right, I'm back. Okay, Timo, so we have we had Willie on one screen. What was the last thing she said inside my lungs? Yeah. Uh, so then the next thing that is, then it's the other Willie, it's the older Willie now who says, did you feel high? So now we're right into it, anything goes now. Okay, we've taken our baby steps into the, the experience. So. Did you feel high? And then young Willie says, you did. And, and what she means is, you know, the older Willie's talking to her as if the younger Willie's a different person, but the younger Willie saying, you, did we feel high? We were in this together. 
And so do you feel, Timo, that we should be looking at Alpine footage here or should we be looking at the two women? We haven't yet, we haven't yet. And in fact, I think I know the answer to this. We haven't seen all four screens with young Willie and old Willie, Willie yet, have we? No. All four we have, have we not? But I don't, I don't think we have. No, I don't think we've seen them all four images of them together. So we've seen young Willie and four screens, old Willie and older Willie and four screens, but we haven't seen two and two yet, have we? No. No. Okay, well, let's do that right now. Then this next moment, I think, should be older Willie in the left two screens, of course, and younger Willie in the right two screens, and then they ping pong because they're really having a dialogue here. Timo, I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to go back to this Radio Scotland thing. But do you know what I'm saying here? That we. You know, you keep the two older Willie on the left, you keep the two younger on the right, and then they have this conversation. Okay. Yep. Yeah. You happy to do that? And I'll be talking for 10 minutes on the on the radio, if that's okay. Yeah. Excuse me. Hello, it's Mark. Yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. <laughs> I am here. I'm here. <laughs> hello, hello. I had a bacon sandwich, but I put loads of mustard on it a bit too much, to be honest. So I burnt my mouth off.
I'm on my uh, PC. Yeah, we did a test earlier. Yeah, yeah. Hi, if you're just watching on YouTube, I'm just going to go on an interview on the radio. So if I seem to be talking rubbish, it's because I'm talking to Radio Scotland, the afternoon show, which is very good, by the way, if you're here and you don't hear it. Mm <laughs> I'm, I'm good, Janice. Nice to hear from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always, I've always thought, Janice, that the editing part of the filmmaking process is so interesting, so creative. Of course, it's quite boring at times as well. But I thought, you know, why don't we sort of? Um, I my editor that I worked with a, with a lot for a long time, Timo Langer, we've been zooming, and so I, I thought, why don't we share that and open it up to anybody, you know? So anybody in Scotland who maybe would is interested in the editing process. I just heard from my friend in Ecuador, the, the great director of the Sundance Film Festival is watching in Ecuador. So just the creative process is fun to watch sometime and why not share it? Totally. 
totally, totally. I think so, and especially you know, people who don't don't come from fancy or educated backgrounds, Janice. You know, like I, which I don't, you know. And then so, if I had had the opportunity to eavesdrop, watch like a sort of badger cam on, on people doing stuff, you know, you know, people might be bored and switch off after five minutes. But if people have the inclination towards picture and sound and music, etc., why not give them the opportunity to watch anywhere in the world? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Dis and the decision making, you yeah, I'm moving bits about. That's exactly right. And you think, oh, that shot's on for a bit too long, or we need more, or will the audience want to watch this for another few seconds? All the practical, beautiful decisions you have to make in an edit. Yes. Yeah, born in St Andrews, 1910s. Uh, for in childhood, she was at school. She knew she was visual. She was, you know, she teachers said she was unusual. She was very, very visual. She wanted to make imagery. Had a strict father who would kind of tell her to not talk at, at family dinners, a classic, you know, early 20th century woman's experience, you know. But she kept going. She kept going. She was searching for something. She moved to St Ives. And then... In May 1949, she found what she was searching for. She climbed the Alps. She encountered a glacier. And something in that experience of seeing a glacier, seeing what it was, you know, blue and mobile and alive and complex. And she had an epiphany and she painted that experience for 50 years. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, she went out of fashion, Janice, because, you know, she was um, when she was a woman and that was a, a strike against her. But then she like everybody, we all age. And, by, you know, she was quite well known in the 50s. And later, David Bowie bought one of her paintings. But, you know, she the, in the 60s, the Beatles came along and it, it became cool to be working class and male, you know, and suddenly she was this quite posh woman uh, and therefore invisible in some ways, you know, and, um, and so and yet when you look at her work all through that period, she was not deflected, even though she went out of fashion, she was not deflected. She didn't, constantly worked brilliantly worked and that's what's so inspiring i'm sort of slightly obsessed by her and she's completely inspiring a kind of one of the geniuses in scotland of the 20th century it was what drew her there a number of reasons you know she wanted to get away from her father who i mentioned you know was did, you know so she wanted to go somewhere else she had lots of health and breathing problems and so it was sunnier down there and a bit warmer and so that helped as well but she wanted to be her own woman in her own space you know and uh, but then down there there was barbara hepworth you know and barbara hepworth let's be honest was a brilliant artist but she was also a kind of queen bee and there was only one there was only one room for the queen in the, ne the nest so i don't know that barbara was incredibly helpful for another woman in that environment you know no, I don't think so. No, unfortunately. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes, we did. <laughs> I know we. I did with my producers and the and the people who run the brilliant William and Martin Grant Trust. This guy Rob Airy, and we climbed together. And um, it's funny, Janice, because uh, Willie had we call her Willie because that's what she called herself. She had a um, overwhelming experience when she climbed in 1949, and I did for a different reason. Uh, I've got major 
vertigo like many people listening you know i'm really scared of heights and i was totally terrified like absolutely i thought i'm going to die i'm going to die i'm going to die so strangely unexpectedly when i climbed the alps i had a life-changing experience very different from hers uh, but it also a sort of power adjacent experience and um it's sort of kind of remarkable for me then. I, I know I will remember it for the rest of my life for very different reasons to her life-changing experience. But that adds to the intimacy and the, and the, to be honest, like the empathy with this great artist. So, yeah, so we're doing several things, Janice. We're doing this exhibition, which is about that moment when she climbed the Alps. And it's, and we're, we've been shooting on an 8K camera, like super, super high resolution. So it, like that's double what you, if you go to your multiplex, it's 4K. So we've been shooting on a camera twice that resolution, really to get into the incredible details of her paintings. So the, when people come along to the fruit market, and we hope this exhibition will travel around the world, but when they come to the fruit market, they're gonna see hyper detailed uh, aspects of her pictures so that's to show her experience but then separately as well as the freak market thing i'm doing a film about willie and the bar the trust is doing a book all about this this experience of, of epiphany that she had in the Alps. And so there are three things coming out uh, at the moment. And I think the reason why, to be honest, is because, you know, in the 21st century, we're more interested in feminism than we were in the past, obviously, but also Willie was neurodiverse. And so we're interested in neurodiversity. And we're also in, interested, of course, in the climate emergency and the glacier that she climbed is basically gone. So that's three, that's three reasons why this is super relevant today. I had a sense of it, but I didn't think I would be in tears, you know, because we, you know, it, and, and we're, we're working with glaciologists and they're, they're going to do a, a, a glaciologist going to do a talk at Freak Market. But, you know, they are all you know, on the verge of tears every time you talk to them, because even these people in their 30s and 40s, the glaciers are shrunk massively since they started going. So this is a story of a massive loss of, as well. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. Oh, yes. Wow. Yes. I think so, yeah. So what we, what I tried to do was, you know, when you climb a big mountain of any sort, if you go into Glencoe, you're overwhelmed by Glencoe. But I thought, what if we overwhelm people not by the actual Alps, but by Willie's pictures of the Alps? So that's the first thing, you know. So we'll we'll um, we'll have these huge screens. But I'm, as you imply and say, I'm collaborating with two great artists, Linda Buckley, who's a fantastic. Uh, composer and she's written a new score and then the sound designer is another great Polish uh, sound designer who's moved to Scotland called Anja Prishkoda and the, and they have uh, tried to, they, they have I, I could not do this on my own they have helped us conjure the massive space of the glaciers through the music and the sound design Thanks so much, Janice. Always a pleasure. Cheers, cheers. You're welcome. Bye. Okay. Sorry, Timo and anybody who's watching on YouTube. That was me talking on the radio, but I'm now back here. Hi. Um, I kind of ignored your wishes. <laughs> Say that again, Timo. I kind of ignored your wishes. No, not really. Um, but um, like I put them all together, obviously. Yeah. 
Um, but I also thought what could be interesting, because we just had this, because I think it's quite nice to have that moment of just text that we just had. Yes, yes. And that I was thought nice, that, that maybe... Yes, did you feel she high? She answers, did you feel high? And then she says, you, and then we see them all together. So she said, inside my lungs, did you feel high? You, Yeah, I, I think that's great, Timo. I think that's exactly right, because people now understand the the grammar of this don't they yeah yeah and i think will be nice intimate moment as well of just quite dark yeah with some light coming up in the dark room and then for the first time all four screens are filled with willy very nice yeah, yeah. and then and i thought what's happening just... sound wise in, in at this moment um breathing basically Yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? Okay, this is lovely, Timo, but there's one extra thing you could do there. See in that breathe, because the breathe is fantastic. In that, I think you should fade them all out to black and then all in again in that moment. You know what I mean? Uh, the all the captions and everything. No, no, just keep going a little bit longer. I'll show you what I mean. Net it all up and then go. And then down to black for a moment and then up again, all four. Okay, all, all down, all four down and all four up. All, all four down, all four up. Just yeah. for like, just for a sense that now they are a unified human being. They're all breathing with the same lungs, you know, these, these women. Yeah. Is that timed exactly? That's pretty good. It, 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 I know you need to probably render those things, Timo, but that looked good to me. Did that work? What do you mean? Mm -hmm. no, that's no the timing's off now. Mm -hmm. But did that was it right to go to black there or is it too obvious to do it? Was it too obvious thing to do? Mm -hmm. 
I think again it will be if we think I mean it's not a film you know so like I think it will be very nice in the in the space yeah, to go yeah. dark and then immediately go up again with the breathing sound. Yeah, I think so. The use of darkness here is more important than a. <sighs> I can't believe why does I need rendering again? Should it just cut out, or is it nice to dissolve a bit? I just think let's leave this off for now and see how we feel yeah. about it later. Because yeah. we've got two days. Once we finish this live edit, we've got two days in Freak Market to finesse things. I think the dissolve up needs to come a little earlier, do you? Just a moment of black. Okay. <clears throat> It's just like, you know, those moments in um, three colors blue where they go down to nothing and then up again. Is that better? Sorry, I missed that. <laughs> I was looking at the script. I think a little bit later. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so did we feel high? That's um. Hmm. I think that can't be on the left. The text can't be on the left screen, Timo. The the words can be on the right screen. Uh, and older Willie can be on the left screen, but it's. So if you take it, I think if you take that text away from the top left, that'll be good. From the top left, number yeah. one. Yeah, number one. Because this is younger Willie asking this question, but by this stage, we're talking about we, so we should vote, see both women, but I think, okay. we, yeah, just remove it from the top left. I mean, it's all, like it felt to me almost they could say it both, you know? Yeah. I, you're right, but I think still, I mean, we're only four minutes in and we've got 10 minutes to go, so we can get to that complexity in good time, you know. Yeah, okay. So maybe just, I don't know, like a, like an image like that. In the, in what, the so what, where, where did, um, where did oh, no. older Willie say, did we? Can we just go back to older Willie's Willie saying, did we? Did we feel high? Did you feel high? No. Uh, so, um, so let's see. So did you feel high? 
Yeah, I can see that. And then you, question mark. Is there a question mark there? Yeah. And then did, did we, did we feel high? Okay. Okay. So this is the younger Willie saying, no, it's not you here. It's both of us. You know, we both went through this experience. The older woman went through it a long time ago, but the younger woman is just. So she's, this is the younger woman saying, saying it's both of us here. Yeah. So maybe we just leave it like this. Yes. And I then, that, with three, three quadrants. Yeah. And then, that's... then next one, we leave the two women at the bottom and switch that one to did we feel high? And then she is answering, did we? Yes. Um, certainly that did we should be in the top left quad number one yeah and there should be nothing I, I don't think we need or maybe maybe we do need what what did you add had you added in something there or some shots there yeah, yeah. I mean that maybe for later I don't no, but that, I no think... that's okay let me let me see let me see and... it was just for like you know they're, they're high up you know, for that yeah. to, to be a little bit. Um, yeah. Um, uh, but I mean, yeah, that's, no, I, th that's I think good. that's, I think that's good. And um, the audio, the, the, the breathing needs to come down a little bit, I think. And then let's also, when you've got a moment, let's consider the music here to see if, <clears throat> if we need to do anything. Okay. Um, Then maybe just did we here? Yes, did we top uh, number one? Yeah. Maybe just a random image to replace number screen number three. Yeah, what so what's happening here actually? They're sort of I mean they they seem a bit like they're de de describing the the moment of ecstasy almost or like of yeah, I think we're still slightly early into that, into it for this, Timo. We're only, we're less than five minutes in. Is that right? Yeah. 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 So I can we just go back to those previous set of images of, of the yeah. Al Alps? Like the, um, this kind of stuff, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> I 
Uh, so that last bit sort of works, but it's a bit too much. We're not there yet in terms of this kind of explosion of imagery. So we need to tone that down a bit, particularly the um, top right quadrant, you know, the number two, yeah. two is a bit too much. We're going to get there, Timo, but we're not there yet. So screen one is good. Okay. And I think, to be honest, just having screen one and all four quadrants might be good here. It's still a bit understated. We haven't gone wild yet. We haven't gone totally subjective yet. But... Just screen one on all four, yeah? Uh, yeah, because we're still... I think what we're still in the business of giving people a sense of the scale and the space of this thing before we get into the really subjective stuff. You know, we're uh, we're page we're on page three of a nine-page script. So we yeah, I think let's keep it slightly um cooler at the moment before we go wild. It's going to the loo, excuse me. back okay and so um so those four shots of the alps work well this is a first yeah and they should they could be a bit longer than that would you agree okay yeah Well, it's quite freaky. But well, it's quite nice, isn't it? So, yeah. um, so vo audio wise, sound wise, the I think the breathing needs to come down a little bit more, Timo, at this point. So it's very gentle within the mix. Yeah. 
And I'm wondering what's happening and what Linda has offered us next in case, how long, th this piece of music we're listening to at the moment, how long has that been running? The light-headed piece. One minute. One minute. Okay, that's quite a long time, isn't it? Should we look to... Let's listen. Could you just play T, uh, Linda's next piece, Timo, which is like a huge Scotland all, or then she's given us various options high cello, high drone, low cello, low drone? It's beautiful. Uh, it's beautiful. I think it's a bit too early for this. This is everything coming together. And so in about five minutes time, we'll get to that. But I think it's too early. So we should probably either stay on the piece we have, which is lightheaded. Which of the bits of lightheaded are we using? Cello and texture? How about just this? So this is the, like, huge Scotland, but just a drone? Yeah. Yeah. Because we're talking, we're in a lightheaded section, aren't we? Yeah, that's very good. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll keep the full throttle. We'll keep the like huge Scotland everything until we get a little later. But the drone's very good here. And I put it on one and four. Uh, so what? What? What have we just come off? What well, the music's been on? What channel so far? Just one and four. Right. Hmm. I wonder, is it a moment to have mu the same music on all four channels? Have we, have we, have we yet done the same? Oh, yeah, we did at the beginning. <clears throat> yeah, I could have it on four, all four. Yeah, I think it might be nice, just as this is a... Yeah, put it on all four, I think, yeah. And if you're watching live, they, um, I'm just looking, Timo, we've cut four minutes so far. Is that right? Yeah. And um, Well, more than that. A little more than that. A little uh, more than that, yeah. And that's 420. And that's, those of you who are editors or filmmakers, you'll know that's reasonably good amount to do in one day. And in fact, a lot of people do like one or two minutes in a day. So Timo and I are often very prepared, as you might be able to see, you know, with, you know, with, you know, got our music and our sound effects and our Im images in all different categories ready to access really quickly. So, you know, if you want to be a, an efficient editor filmmaker, it's really good to do all that prep. And it means that, as you can see, when we're making a creative edit decision, we're not spending loads of time looking for stuff. You know, we know roughly where it is. But to do over four minutes in one day, and we're not finished yet, uh, we'll probably we'll get to at least five minutes today. That's that's pretty substantial amount of working. It was hard work, but it's. Good. Nice, it's a, it's an unusual bit of the shot that you've chosen, Timo. But I like it. It's, getting into that kind of twisting thing, you know. I think now 
it's time for a little bit more um, before we go into any more dialogue. I think it's time for a bit, a little bit more of scratch film. Do you? Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me just cut those tracks here. Okay. So that did we with those two. I'm just wondering. I I I I, I like the words did we, we. I wonder do we need those pictures at all? Should we just go from the glacier footage to just did we on one screen, not the two pictures, and then go to. Yeah, just did we is stark on its own, Timo. I think lose those two pictures and then go to some of the film scratch. New ones are the ones that we already used. I think some new one. Well, we've used two so far, haven't we? So we can either go back to those or there's a third one that we haven't used yet. So let's have a look at them. That's one we haven't used. Yes, we haven't used that one. Which is pretty lovely, isn't it? It's very short. Is it? Right. Yeah. How short? Oh, no, I didn't play it from the beginning. It's 20 seconds. Okay. All right. I think that'll go nice with this music and what it's white and it's sort of, yeah, I think put a bit, this is another thinking point before we go into the next bit and it'll go nice from what we've just seen. On all four again? I think so, yeah. Now is the time to envelop the audience. Very nice.
Yeah, very nice. <clears throat> you could do something again. I'm just thinking about the room. You could do something where you fade them down one by one until it's dark or something like that because yeah, that maybe. will be quite bright yeah, yeah. so you yeah. could like fade one one down then the second then the third and then something like that i don't know yeah. i think it could just look quite nice in the room i wonder what that would imply what we're saying is there's a build-up of you know encounter and experience and it, you know it would work better if instead of fading them down one by one, you faded them up one by one. Because we're, what we're, 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 we're talking about an expansion here. Yeah, yeah. I know it's very nice because those, it, there's a visual similarity between the previous four and these four, but. Okay. Or maybe maybe we use the idea of slow fading down one after the other towards the end. Because what we're going to be saying at the end, of course, is that the glacier died, you know, and this is this visual experience is in right. many ways. And so maybe do we yeah. keep that keep that for then? Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's just like I mean, just if we have a bright image, because I think this, yeah, I'm just thinking of like something, an image like that on four screens will yeah. And make it quite bright, so it's nice yeah. that going dark again. But yeah, yeah, if we find something like that for the end, it'd be nice. I just think in storytelling terms, we're we're still we're, we're at the moment where her imagination is growing and getting brighter, and so I think let, let's do that later. But it's yeah, let's do it later. But it's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. What What was the last bit of dialogue we used, Timo? Did, did we, we? Did we? Okay, so this is good. We can, over these images here, Timo, you can put in captions, I think, because the next thing is, I'd say lightheaded, grid-headed, the mountains curved around us. So that'll look very nice. So black subtitles on white. Okay, and maybe all at once, so people kind of need to go around, mm -hmm. have all four at once on them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Let's do that. Yeah. Um, because they need to be black. I need to need to redo those titles now. Okay. Because I've done them in white. Okay. This is gonna be a boring. Three and a half minutes. Three and a half minutes. Okay. That's one of those Zen moments. It's one of those when you tell everybody a great story. I think I've spoken a lot today. I wonder what else there is to say. Suppose people watching this can, you know, editors know this already, filmmakers know this already, but, you know, if you haven't been in an edit before or been a filmmaker before, if you've watched any of this, you'll notice that it's a combination of really planned and organized and really sort of improvised and feeling it, you know, and the planning is really good because it means that you don't get stuck and you don't spe spend half an hour thinking, what do we do next? And when the way Timo and I work, we never spend half an hour thinking, what do we do next? We'll spend half a minute thinking what we do next. You know, but, um, sorry, one question quickly. The fourth would be like a huge Scotland, would it? The fourth uh, caption? One, two, three. Yeah, it would be. Is that not, I just felt like because that's the title, is that a yeah. bit... Of a throwaway. No, I think that's okay. I don't. We don't. We we want to de-emphasize the title. Okay. So yeah, you plan. I think you plan a lot, and then you are open to change as much as possible. And it's very hard, you know, when you're like my computer screen is this size so i'm my screen is 
I, I work here on a TV screen, a big TV screen. So that's good. So I've got a, a, a bit of a sense of the scale of things, but often you have to try to imagine when you're editing the massive scale of a film image. And as we all know, anybody, most people know if they're film fans or filmmakers that if you cut reasonably fast on a small screen, it looks very fast on a big screen. So you have to take that into consideration. Big screens are more assaulting small screens, more invasive than small screens. You want them more like subtitles or you want them in the middle of the screen? No, still subtitles. They still need to feel as if we are subtitling somebody who we're not hearing. So, I mean, yeah, we're fine tuning that, obviously, but yeah, something like that. Huh? Something like that. Yeah, it's good to put all these four on the screen in the same time. You're right, because they're. this is the first time that these two people are agreeing with each other. They're saying basically the same thing. Light-headed, grid-headed. <clears throat> grid, of course, is a reference to the fact that Willie was quite mathematical and
Timo, for people who are watching who don't know about the process, why do you render a sequence like this as we go along? So it's basically, it's, I mean, it's, it's big pictures and you put effects on them. And if you want to show them in relatively good quality, though, that you can see them as well, like the computer is just, he cannot process that. So when you render the effects, that basically that means that the computer needs to use less operating power to play those things and then you can play them smoothly. And we normally don't have to render that much. It's just because we use images which are quite big. And when you put effects on them, then yes. it's, it's, it's just better to do. If you have like a 20,000 pound computer, you probably don't have to, but <laughs> I only have one that's not quite as much. <laughs> Yes, I think it's good to put them all up at the same time, but there's a lot going on there. So you need to, you do need to stay on it for a while. Is that the right, right amount of time? I think so. Like I was always like, if you really want to twist people's heads, you could cut them differently, but I think it would actually be too much. Like yeah, you, you, don't wanna, you don't want to hurt, like hurt people, you know, you want people yeah. to feel the richness of the experience, but we don't, you don't want to bash them and some yeah. make it, make it feel, make them feel as if they missed something. Okay. That's good. Um, so the next bit is the first bit where I think we should start looking at it's, it's the mountains curved around us. Is that the next thing, Michael? They okay. seem to orbit me. Oh, no, yeah. They seem to orbit me as the same, the next line. Yeah. Uh, so this is, I don't know if we, maybe we don't need that line, but this is the Sorry, moment. one second, please. Yeah. Yeah, I'm back. You're back. And um, so maybe we don't need that line about orbiting Timo, but this is the moment where we want to start to say to people that this was really engulfing. So orbit, i.e. spinning, you know, and this is the opportunity for people in food market and elsewhere to really spin on their seats. So I think this is the first time that we choose an image and we, we start on screen one and then we cut it to screen two and then we cut it to screen three and then we cut it to screen four. Okay. But I don't know what the image is. Okay. But maybe it's, we let's haven't seen do, the thing. Let's just do black. Pardon? Let's just do black. <laughs> Yeah, that would work. Um, so um, we haven't used a single Willy painting yet. And is it too early? We are four minutes 30 in. So I don't think it's too early. Maybe we. Yeah. Yeah. I think, you know, mostly the next, you know, a lot of this project will be big close ups of Willy pictures, but let's choose a wide shot and see how that works. So if you go into the folder called close-ups of paintings. Yeah. And then uh, I think, you know, one of the classic ones is, I know what we're gonna do is just talk about the, are you gonna open up the folder? It's basically the second image in the whole folder or maybe the fourth image in the whole folder. 
the fourth image in the folder of close-ups of paintings. This one? No. Oh, so are your are yours not in sequence? I thought we said they were in sequence. I thought they were. Uh, could you show me your thumbnails? Uh, Ooh, oh, so yours are back to front. Can you reorganize them so they're because mine are, or I can re I can resequence mine if it's easier. Uh, no, I can, uh, or you can. Uh, I okay. think it's if you, you turn them from top to bottom, top, bottom, bottom, bottom to top, or whatever. Top, whatever. So what will there be now? So if they were ascending, did you descending or whatever? Is that your first one or your last one? Or something? I'm not seeing thumbnails at the moment. So if you if you could show me a thumb thumbnails, that would be great. Uh, well, it's still not the same. Uh, I think maybe once you put in thumbnail thumbnails, they. Okay. Go back okay well, then I can look at I can look at your thumbnails and tell you which one. So if you go to the ooh ooh, actually Timo, you don't have as many. There are some missing. There. Oh no, yeah, you've got some missing. So um, you see that basically second from the last one there, uh, that one. Yeah, but you don't have. I'm going to email you now the the slightly closer version of that because it's better unless I'm going to email it to you unless it's massive file <clears throat> oh is that in um, is that the same folder or is that a different folder no it's a different folder Okay. Um, I, don't, I don't know why you have the, the, the slightly closer, but I'm going to send it to you right now. And it's to send your file, remove large inline images. Oh, so it must be massive. Let me just see how massive it is. You just retransfer it if it's massive. 258 megabytes. Oh, it's one of that stupid TIFF file. Uh, could you look and see? Because I think I, I, I'm sure I sent you everything, Timo. I didn't. So, have you a separate file of TIFF images? Or, and I'm, I know I, I, I did send you the TIFFs, but maybe they didn't transfer for some reason. But, I mean, I have some TIFFs. Okay, so why don't we? Is that, are they, they the tips you're showing me there? No. Well, they are they're both JPEGs and tips in this folder. Okay, so neither of them are what we're looking for. What we're actually looking for is the second image that you're currently highlighting, you're, you're packed on, is what we're looking for, but without the frame. I reframed it without the picture frame. Um, but. Uh, well, do you want to just retransform me that? Will only take three minutes or I go to the toilet again while that's going on. I just go through the toilet while that's going on. Hmm? 
there's if there's anybody watching live what we're doing now is that um it used to be that when when timo and i worked in the same room i would just simply pass images and footage over to him on a drive or memory stick or something but now it's just so easy to be transferred this is a reasonably big image this is an image of 258 megabytes so i can't email that obviously but by the magic of technology i can just send it to him and it's going to be there in uh, one minute and uh, two two minutes it's trans it's transformed the editing process it's made it um faster and simpler and more responsive to creative energy as well i would say because you know there are days like today we started editing at 9 30 and it's 9 4 15 so that's good i'm still full of energy but there are other days where you just can't be arsed and it's three o'clock and you just want to stop and if you're zooming you can just click off with each other you know but if you're sitting in the same room together then you, know, you feel as if you should continue to edit so definitely zoom editing is def maximizes your creative energy i would say which is of course a good thing and this massive file 258 megabytes is now on 94 percent so it, it will have taken <clears throat> like two minutes to send and it's now gone and timo has it and yeah, i think i've sent you that timo yeah. I'm starting to say what they got for dinner You repeat that. No, I don't know what I have. I want to make sure. I think I might make. Yeah. Chickpea curry. Can't do chickpeas. You can't. You can't. No, my tummy doesn't like chickpeas. Right. Well, sounds good. What's your favorite? Food? Just spicy. I like spicy. As long as it's spicy, I'm happy. Um, potato and peanut. Potato. So you got that you shot, 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 shot. Yeah, I'm just trying to import it, see what happens with a big shot like that. Yeah, where did I put it? I'm hearing myself on a, a delay too much. You're hearing yourself what? On a delay. Okay. Doesn't matter, it's not bothering me too much, but it's still there. Uh, I wonder if it's still there. No, it's not. There we are. Okay. Great. Great. So 
this is the first time we've seen one of Willie's actual pictures. And so she's about to say, they seemed to orbit me. I was at the center of a kind of, what, a kind of hemorrhage. So I think I think, you know, it would be good, Timo, if to go to put this on screen one, then screen two, then screen three, then screen four. This is the first time where we'll really move the audience, you know, around, their eyes around, yeah. Okay. And um, what was I going to ask? Uh, My brain's mince, Mark. Uh, hmm? <laughs> my brain's mince is normally what yeah, we say. Um, no, I'm sure it will come back to me. It wasn't anything mega important. Um, So what was I going to ask you? Uh, Music's really good. Yeah. Um, and then relatively quickly or? I don't know. Oh, that was it. You, I think you said you were going to lose the orbit line. Or one of the lines, or was it a different one? Mm. I was thinking about it. But what, here's what I think. I think that there are two lines here. The first one says, they seemed to orbit me. And the second one says, I was at the center of a kind of... Yeah. A kind of hemorrhage. Maybe we don't... You know, if we're if we're having these images, yeah. So let's lose the. They seemed to orbit me. Do you think? Okay. Because, yeah. You know, if the if these if the if this painting is going to, you know, spiral around the audience, then that's obvious that it's orbiting them, and so we don't need that line. Yeah. Loving that music. Yeah. Is that the right pacing? Yeah, I think so. 
and then leave that on maybe and put up the first caption yeah the next caption is i was at the center of a kind of the young woman said young willie says i was kind of and then the older woman the older willie interrupts her and says what and so we yeah. need to yeah cut the at this moment they need to you know it needs to be fast i think yeah And if you're watching for the first time today, this is us getting the end of, to the end of our first day of editing Timo Langer and me and the music of the great Linda Buckley and the sound design of Anya Prisgoda. And we're just getting to the moment where we're five minutes into a 15 minute story. And so we are um, at the moment where we're revealing for the first time in this story, the um, paintings of the great Wilhelmina Barnes Graham. And tomorrow, if you join us tomorrow, you'll see us working with her pictures. And not only this is a wide sh wide shot we're looking at here of one of her pictures, but then we will be going into this. That's really nice. That combination of music and the painting in the lower quadrant, number four, screen four, and the and um, caption the uh, voiceover at the top right is good. a bit loud. And that music is really perfect here. Yeah, it's very it's good. Not being literal in any way. It's not. It, it's um. We're not trying to conjure a glacier experience. Very good. And now we've we've earned it. We've earned the ability to put the captions up on a certain part of the screen, and and people will know what's happening. Okay. What's the last thing we we said? Kind of hemorrhage. Right. Hmm. Interesting because we've got the hemorrhage shot. Do you know what? I, you know what I, we don't yeah. know. We don't, don't want to be too literal. I think we. What I did was I, I did a 
picture of blood coming out of her nose because you know when people climb a mountain sometimes they bleed from their nose and I think I did actually you know so we've yeah. got that image but it would be too literal to use it here I, I think. think so yeah and um, what, what's it after that and my eyes fell and saw yeah so now we're getting into the meat of it Timo so uh, the heart of it so my eyes fell and saw Let's let's put that bit in that line in my eyes fell and saw. Yep. And this is you know the slightly trippy shot that you had in earlier. This is where we we can start to use that shot. Thank you again for doing this prep, Timo. It's very for people who don't know the fact. Timo has prepared these subtitles before we started editing today. It means that you don't have to sit through the boring process of making each subtitle. You, the audience, don't need to sit through all that. And it's young Gov Willy still, is it? Which one? And my eyes fell. My and eyes fell and saw. That's young Willy, yeah. Okay, and then so that's a young Willie sing, and, and this next line is um, is important. The older sorry, Willie sorry you wanted the trippy shot, did you? Yeah, let's. Uh, yeah, the trippy shot should come before the next line. Yeah, and let's look at Linda's. So, yeah, because that's eyes definitely. Falling, isn't it? Okay. Let's put, the, I think, that on. Oh, I quite like that audio there as well. Yeah. Or the sync. Um, so I think they that shot should go on all four screens, you know. Okay. That'll look nice on four big screens, wouldn't it? Surrounded, you surrounded. Just a reminder, if you've just tuned in, that what Timo is doing here is he's taking a one image and putting it in four quadrants of the screen because this is a the the fight the end result of this will be uh, 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 in Fruit Market in Edinburgh and the audience will go in and it will see four screens, not one like you're seeing here, and on each screen there'll be something different and the screens will be really big. So we're trying in this edit to approximate what it's like to be um, surrounded by four screens. It's quite hard to imagine what it's like. And so we're trying and hopefully you're trying as well.
Oh, and I've just remembered this morning, if you are watching the this morning, I tried to think of a line from Henry V, William Shakespeare, and I've just remembered it. It's eek, it's a uh, eek out your imperfect, eek out our imperfections with your thoughts and make imaginary puissance. So what that means is, you know, what you're seeing here is four screens, four quadrants of one screen. So eek out our imperfections with, with your thoughts and make imaginary puissance. In other words, Puissance is power, it means power. So imagine the power of those these four images around you rather than seeing on your computer screen or if you're what, watching on your phone, I can't even imagine how small it is. Works that could go on a bit longer, do you think, Timo? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the shots over, but I can go in earlier. Yeah, yeah. I think there's, I think I, was, I think I remember shooting quite a lot of that stuff. It's an enjoyable moment because we've had some dialogue here and we've. At least that long, do you think? I, I personally I think, think it, could, it could be a little longer still, yeah? I think that's the whole shot. Really? Okay. Yeah. Well, then let's do, then let's do that long. Yeah. Uh, so, what's the last bit of dialogue? Kind of hemorrhage or is it something else? Yeah. And my eyes fell and so. <clears throat> okay. So this is, you know, this is an interesting moment where the younger woman is saying, okay, my eyes fell, fell and so on. The older woman saying, yeah, you know, I'm still there. You know, I might be 50 years older, but I'm still in this. It's still alive for me, etc." So I think this is a big moment for older Willie. So I think we should go older Willie on all four screens. Okay. This is her, was is her a kind of magic moment where she is like, look, look, she's saying, like, I got you here, you know. Ah, oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. Just leave that going for a while. Yeah, it's really nice. Stay on that uh, that long without putting a caption up, wouldn't you agree? Because it's we really yeah. feel we really feel that we've seen in a subjective way what this older lady saw fifty years ago. This is just a magic moment, hopefully coming up. So Willie, older Willie's saying, I know what they saw, referring to their eyes, you know. And then the younger Willie says, okay, then describe it. And she and the older Willie says, I have in paintings. And that's where we really open up for these these beautiful paintings. Yeah. Um... So should they just be over her? Say that again. So this would be like four squares of her and she nests 
She says what, those do you, things. what do you mean by this? What moment do you mean, Timo? The I uh, I know this bit. I know what they saw. This so that's the older Willie. Yeah. So I think just totally four screens of Willie uh, over and over and the caption over her. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then what would you want to do for okay then describe it? Four screens of the younger Willie. Okay. Although what we haven't what we haven't done is moved around yet. We haven't done have we oh no we, we have we've done once just with that painting, the one, two, three, four. We've plenty of time yet. We're only five minutes in, so we've got plenty of time to move the audience to spin them on their wheel. Quite long without a caption. Just a caption, maybe say, I know okay. what what the eyes saw or something. I know this bit, I know what we saw or something. Or do people remember, you think? What's the last thing we had? I'm and my eyes fell and saw. Yeah, but then we have a long shot of long the shot. Yeah, should uh, be okay. one. So yeah, shorten that one a little bit. Shorten the this trippy shot a little bit, but but still, I think people will. We're we're going to start to space this out a bit and hope that people will remember a little bit. So shorten it a bit. Wherever it takes your fancy. Because we are Timo, we're we're a third of the way. Well, we're more than a third of the way through the script, so. It's the pacing is good so far, I think. <clears throat> yeah. That's number one. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just talking to myself. Um... No, it should be. Maybe it should be up here, huh? Yeah. I think it should be on all four. Okay. Because there's, if it comes at all four screens, there's no reason, particular reason for people to look at screen one, two, three, or four. So it should be on all of them. Yeah, okay.
Yeah, that's nice. And then young Willie says, okay, describe it. Because the young woman still, the older woman says, I know what this was, I know what this is. And the younger woman's saying, well, do you really? Okay, tell me about it. This is the idea that this, this young woman's just had an experience and she thinks it's hard to encompass or imagine, but the older woman, of course, has filtered it through decades of thinking. And so she's saying, yeah, I can do that. And I did. And what did I do? I painted it, you know, which is a better way of you know, describing it than actually verbally describing it.
Yeah. I think that's good. And then the, I think the final thing for today, Timo, is for the older Willie to say, I have in paintings. And that sets us up. That's the end of like act two of our story, as it were, you know, and then we go into seeing we are like a big sequence about the actual paintings. Um, four squares again? I don't know. Um, this is like a sort of dramatic moment. Uh, it's, a bit, it's a bit repetitive if we do that again, I think. I think it is. I think uh, just words only. Maybe just words in all four quadrants. Yes, I think so. Just words in all four quadrants. Yeah. And that sort of, it's a, that, so, so it's just a black screen and it, that's kind of palette cleanser before we see the beauty of the paintings. Yeah. Yeah. Quite nice just in one quadrant, isn't it? Okay, well, we can leave it. We can always fill them up if you want. I think it's nice, you know, because it's it's really quite understated. If we put it in four quadrants, it'll make it sound as if she's, you know, shouting in some way. Yeah. And, yeah, and I think it's, I mean, she's quite, we we'll want to emphasize the kind of understated modesty almost of her endeavors. Okay. Well, I think that we're at a moment there uh, where we've got to the end of a good bit. I think we're a third of the way through the script, which is good. That's what we needed to do, I think, you know, because, you know, we've, we've got five days of this, but the last, at least the last one day and maybe two days, we'll be looking at individual frames, won't we, and making them good. So if by the end of Wednesday we could get to the end of the story, that would be great, but we're well on our way, I think, with if we've done five minutes. Just if anybody is watching, the last day will be very boring. The last day will be very boring, unless you're total obsessive about... Yeah like absolute framings and moving things up and down a little bit. But, you know, there are people, you know, we have, ten some of us have tendencies in that direction. <laughs> well, whoever has those tendencies, feel free to do that for me. <laughs> cool. Um, okay, so that's our first day over, Timo. And it was, um, it, uh, just to say to everybody, you know, this was quite a, uh, kind of an unusual thing to do for us and if anybody's watching thank you for watching and you can join us tomorrow at 9 30 uk time for some more of this stuff and um and i'm just about to go on to a zoom with linda the great um composer of the, of the music that you've been listening to and anya the great designer of the sound design you're listening to and i think at some point in the next few days they will join us on the zoom as well so they'll be four or three rather than two but um from timo and me thank you so much if you're watching for today hey, bye Adamani. how do you say to see you tomorrow in german bis morgen okay to that too <laughs> Adama. Adama. Bye, -bye, Adama. bye bye tschüss